It's a very confident group. You know, this is a, a group that was in seventh grade when I first got here. Uh, they had great success there, and they've had really good success with us in their first two years uh, of varsity as well. So the weight program over the, the last five years has, has really paid off, and, and getting those big victories last year against North Andrew and Pattonsburg, uh, and then getting revenge on Warwick in the, the playoffs, you know, did a, a lot of good things for us from a, a confidence standpoint. Um, I still think we got a ways to go from a maturity standpoint with this group, but uh, I have no doubt that's going to come. The work is far from done in Shelbyville, but to gloss over North Shelby's transformation into a now stalwart power player at the top end of the eight-man football ecosystem is to ignore the improved circumstances at play. To wit, the Raiders point A for this 2020 season is the program's most enviable since the great Kento Laughlin teams of the mid-1990s, with a likely preseason state ranking and perhaps Northeast Missouri's best window to qualify for a state trip in play. That is provided Seth Bass and his crew can make one more admittedly esoteric evolution on the road to the very tip top. If you look at the, the progress that we've made in the, the five years here to, to go from you know struggling with numbers before the switch to, to eight man to now we're basically practicing in two different groups. Um, to, to have that kind of depth, to have that kind of maturity, and to have those kind of expectations going into the season, it, it's huge, and it's a testament to the kids. Yes, it is. It feels really good knowing that we can compete at a really high level and hopefully we can do better this year than what we did last. It gives us the momentum that we are, we can compete with the top dogs and that we can go far. This is not to suggest that graduation didn't hit North Shelby hard, particularly in the skill positions. Replacing an elite quarterback and a host of capable running backs and wide receivers is no small shakes, regardless of who you are. But to the first of those key points, new trigger man Kale Stoneburner has already once proven he can fill the shoes of Dayton Metis as a signal caller. It definitely helped a lot going 3-1 and one as a starter my freshman year. And I mean, I played quarterback in the North Andrew game, and I think I did okay. Yeah, Kale's going to be plug and play at that position. I mean, he's not Dayton, but he, he brings plenty of things to the table in a, a couple of different ways. Uh, he's a little bit more slippery as a, a runner, whereas Dayton was more powerful, and he's got a little bit more of a, a passing touch. And point two, good backs are starting to seemingly grow on trees in northern Shelby County. Carson Orr was actually our starting A-back last year before going down with an ankle injury, so I mean he actually comes back as a starter. Um, Justin Lunsford is pretty much a clone of Ethan Geisendorfer physically, um, so uh, I think he's going to be poised for a great year. He's had a great summer as far as workouts and as far as practices. His hands look good, his uh, running looks smooth. So, um, you know, I think we'll just plug right in statistically and keep right on rolling at, at those positions. Justin's kind of honestly like a mirror image of Ethan, just a little bit younger. And Carson, he has that speed to get to the outside edge and I think he can really set the tone for us. The grander challenge here may be extending and bettering the enormous growth the Raiders made on defense a year ago. But a strong well of talent returning in the middle is an encouraging building block there. It's, it's a huge difference. I mean, it makes our job a lot easier and it lets us know that our linebackers got us if we mess up. Yeah, and we've got a lot of experience at linebacker overall. Uh, we kind of rolled through with matchups at, at linebacker the last couple years. So Landon Benner and Noah Greenwell have both played a, a lot of snaps and they're going to be ready to step in and do great things at that position too. So uh, linebacker is definitely a, a, a boon for us and a, a great area of experience for us. And then Justin is going to bump back to free safety this year, and uh, he's going to be the, the downhill player that we like back there. So um, I really like our defense this year, the way it shapes up. Uh, we can go from a two to a three to even a forefront sometimes. So our defense is very versatile, and that has definitely helped us through the year.